Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. Today we've got the Vizio Mini. So a couple of weeks ago I reviewed the FQ77, FQ36, which was another Mini Mavic, and I said at that point that I'd get this to review so I could see the difference. So today I'm just going to review this drone, and then probably next week I'll get a video up comparing this to the FQ36, because there are some differences. Uh, I like them both, so I'm not going to give away too much away saying that, but so let's have a look what you get in the box. In the box you get... I'll show you that in a second. So, this is the drone itself. You get a user manual, some stickers, which we'll go through in a minute, some spare props, a charger. The charger's actually plugged in. I charged it up yesterday. And the controller. Let's get rid of the packaging. So, this is the drone itself. It really is a cute little drone. And it's very detailed. It also feels quite heavy for a, a toy drone. In fact, let's just weigh it to see what it weighs because I'm interested to see what this thing weighs because it does feel heavier than they normally are. They're normally about 40 50 grams, and this feels quite a bit heavier. It might be just me, but. Yeah, 93 grams, so. It is quite a bit heavier than they normally are. And it probably will explain that in speed one, this thing isn't quick enough. You need to have it fly outside, you need this thing in, in three, really. Now, the great thing about it is, without going too detailed, you don't have the yaw issue that you tend to have on speed three. So this thing yaws perfectly. It doesn't yaw and then drop out as it's coming out of a yaw if you're doing a bank turn, which you tend to do on speed mode three. So... Anyway, back to the drone. Sort of mentioned that one. I about. So, as you can see, it's foldable. It's got lights here. It's got direct drive motors. So the motors directly there. There's no gear. Your battery in the back. In fact, I can't read what that is. What I put down in the description, I put what the battery is, what size it is. The charger is has a. I haven't got it here, but it's a little block that goes on here and just plugs in USB. So it's just a normal USB charger and a switch on the back for the battery, which I do like. The controller is your typical Vizio controller. It's exactly the same as they are on all the Vizios. Oops, caught the camera. It's your phone goes in here, as you can see. And I say, it's exactly the same as it is on all the other Vizios. So, back to the stickers. So you get these. So as you can see you've got red, like a brownie black colour, blue, green, yellow. So the idea is, you put them on, I don't know if you can see that very well. So there you go, you stick them on to customise your visual so it looks different. Quite a nice little feature to be fair. So yeah, something different to make it look a bit different. Yeah, and I kind of like it. Just distinguishes it from something else. So let's turn it on. So you have to double press it on to get it to flash. It caught me out at first, and then transmitter on and bind us and bind as normal. So there you go. It did catch me out at first because if you just press it once, it turns it on. But then when you try and turn this on, nothing happens. So you've got to press it that twice. Really nice LEDs, I really like the look of this. It really does look nice. It definitely looks better than the FQ36, but um, it's not got a movable camera. There is going to be footage at the end. So I've got the flight footage to be flying it. I've also got the footage up from the camera. It's not great. I thought it might be better than the FQ36, but we'll talk about that in another video. But you'll see, I'll put it on an inset of the main flight video. And the app it runs on is XSW UFO. So let's connect it up to the app so I can show you. So we'll just go into... So this is a 720p camera on this one. 2 megapixel 720p camera. Let's go into the app.
there you go. Latency is not horrendous, to be honest. And from a flight point of view, the app works fantastic. I never had an issue with it. I didn't lose, it didn't freeze up on me. I didn't lose reception or anything like that. It just doesn't record great, to be honest. Uh, but I keep saying, these things are never going to. So, but the app, as you see, is very, it's the same as all the other apps. You've got your rates button at the top and all the rest of it. You can fly it with your phone if you wanted to do, um, but obviously you've got the controller, so why would you want it? So like I say, it's very, very, very well made this. I think it's quite expensive for it. I think I paid £36 for it, which is quite expensive for a mini drone like this. Um, and if you look at the, it doesn't, it's well, it's nicely made, but it's like not finished off particularly great. And no SD card's a bit of a, I know there should be an SD card in there, there isn't it, because you fall. But all in all, it flies really well. You're going to see from the video, you, I've flown that video virtually entirely in flight mode 3 because anything other than that, in a, I know only a couple of mile an hour winds, it's not responsive enough. And as I say, in flight mode 3, it flies perfectly nicely. There's none of that horrible yaw issue that you tend to get with these um, toy drones. In 2, it's alright as well. It just needs to penetrate better. In 1, It'd be great for flying inside, but it, I will warn you, in one it's very slow, so you're slow, the turn slow, banking slow, so if you had to get out of a bit of trouble, even indoors, I'd probably recommend still flying mode 2, uh, speed mode 2, and it's it, it's a good size for flying indoors, it's not too big, it's a decent size, and it's very nicely finished off little quad but it's 36 quid and I guess that's at 36 quid and a discount deal I've seen it for 45 pounds and stuff like that and at that it's a little bit expensive and with the fact the camera's <laughs> typical for one of these I just find it a little bit expensive to be honest but yeah it flies really well so I do recommend it if you can buy it at a cheap price but if it's 40 odd pounds no I wouldn't you can buy better for your money um, and I think I bought it because I had the other one but I kind of find it a little bit pointless at video to make it to be honest I, I find it a bit strange that they made this little quad unless it was just to cash in but it does fly well it'd make a nice gift for someone if you can fly it find it for 30 quid 32 or 33 pound definitely buy it if it's 40 odd pound avoid it I'm going to leave you the video so you can make up your own mind of what it flies like and there's going to be a little bit in there which shows you what the camera footage looks like um, but it isn't great. So, have a fantastic day, and don't forget, keep flying. Video footage recorded to my iPhone wouldn't come across to let me ed edit it into the editing software. When I try and take it off the phone, it's corrupted. I tried it three or four times, and I tried three or four different recordings, and it still wouldn't work. Maybe it's a problem that's on iPhone, or maybe it's just a problem with the drone, but I can't add any footage to it at the minute.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching